So last Saturday, I had a list this long of stuff I had to get done. I had to go to the gym, I had to clean up my place, I had to vacuum, I had to go run errands, I had to take care of a parking ticket, and I realized that I had zero willpower, and basically I ended up wasting my entire Saturday because I just couldn't get myself to do anything. Now since that Saturday, I've been wondering, why do I have willpower some days and not others? Well, in today's video, I want to share with you guys a couple reasons behind why we have willpower and what you can do behind it. What's up guys, I'm Alex Hine, author of the book Master of the Day. So the first is this idea of blood sugar or that our willpower gets weakened over the days. So an interesting study was done on the Israeli parole system. And what they wanted to figure out was, does the chances of a person being let off on parole increase or decrease based on the time of the day or whether or not the judges had already eaten? Now what they found in this particular study was that the highest chance of being let go on parole was at the beginning of the day where people were fresh. Not that much had transpired during the day. People had already eaten and so on and so forth. And that there was a, basically a linear correlation between as the day went on, the chances of you being let off on parole just going down to almost zero. There was a short spike after lunch where there was a break. People had a chance to eat, get some energy. But then afterwards, it went back down to zero. So what this says for you in your own life is a couple things. First of all, whatever is the hardest for you to do as far as willpower goes, do it as early as you can in the day. So whether it is going to the gym, doing homework, or doing work, the sooner to the beginning of the day where you have the most willpower, the better. But the other thing is that it's also linked to meal times, glucose, and having energy. So the least likely time to make a good choice is when you're starving. Now I know that doesn't sound like rocket science, right? Like when I'm hungry, I just want to get a burger or go to fast food rather than eat real healthy food. Not rocket science. But what you might be surprised about is just how easily you will make the right decision and feel better if you eat and then wait 30 minutes and make a decision. So if you're trying to figure out what's the hardest project to work on first, for school, for work, or for something else, schedule it within 30 to 60 minutes of having had your last meal or having had some kind of snack. Now another cool study was done to highlight something very similar. In this, the researchers wanted to see the link between students making unethical bad choices and the time of the day. Now in a series of these four experiments, researchers found that both undergraduate students and a sample of US adults engaged in less unethical behavior, for example, less lying and less cheating, on tasks performed in the morning than on the same tasks performed in the afternoon. Now what's interesting is that this effect of the time of the day on the person's unethical behavior was found to be stronger for people who didn't normally do unethical things. So this is the concept that's called ego depletion. Basically, as the day goes on, you're used up your willpower and your discipline stores. Now, the third thing is a little bit of a thought experiment I want you to play with yourself. I want you for one day to track every hour what you're doing, what you're feeling, and whether or not you're in flow. Now, this idea of a flow test is something I borrowed from Dr. Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, who's the researcher that coined this term flow. And what he observed was that when he went around the world studying people who were in the zone and in their element, they always described it virtually the same way. And he suggests to people to try giving ourselves a flow test to figure out what we most enjoy. And also when we're most in flow, which is generally when we are the happiest. Now I think what you'll find is that when you track what you do day to day, certain things will be in flow, certain things will not be in flow. And you're gonna realize that you have the most discipline and willpower. You're gonna feel the most motivated when you're doing activities that internally feel like they produce flow for you. So there's the glucose effect, making sure you've eaten. There's the ego depletion effect, where as the day goes on, we have less willpower. But the third thing is the inner aspects, the psychological aspects. Do I feel flow or do I not with this activity? And you can apply that to your relationships just as easily as you could to the gym. So I hope that helps, guys. Those are three things to think about if you don't find yourself having very much willpower. Before you go, leave a comment there below. And let me know for you, if you had tons of willpower, what would you do differently every day? Hey guys, it's Alex. I hope you like this video. The best way to stay in touch is to grab that free guide on my site, Five Daily Habits to Help You Lose Your Next 20 to 30 Pounds. Click the monk dude right there to subscribe and watch the last video that just came out. And if you like this tiny daily habits approach, both to be more fit and also more successful in your life, 
check out my book, Master the Day, either in the description there or on Amazon. If you send me your receipt to alexander at modernhealthmonk.com, I'll send you a two-hour bonus video course that builds off the principles in the book for free.